Hey guys, Linda aka The Gamer Girl here, and I finally got all my parts for my DIY streaming slash YouTuber ready backpack. It's kind of like a mixture of a couple backpacks that I found online. It's taking bits and pieces of them and doing it to where it's on a budget because I can't afford to do like thousands of dollars in a backpack, but I can do like the meat and potatoes of each backpack and put it together. So you're going to see me put it together and you're going to watch me. It's not going to take very long because it's just going to be like one of those things where once I get to TwitchCon or another convention, I could get set up and ready. So I'm just going to show you all the cables and everything that I'm using. I'm also using Velcro and my own selfie stick that I have. So it's going to be ready for GoPro or selfie stick. But either way, you're going to watch me enjoy myself and maybe have a little stumble here and there. But here we go. So the meat and potatoes of the backpack is this encoder right here. It is a hefty price, but it's worth it from all that I've gathered. It helps get you multiple signals into any part. You need an ethernet cord if you're gonna use it for when you're on the landline. If you're not, you're gonna need uh, these two cables which comes with the package. It has an option to put multiple hubs. So if you have multiple hotspots, you can put them together. If you have your cell phone, you can use Wi-Fi. It allows you to do multiple things. When it comes, it comes with two, it comes with three cords. This one is a female to male HDMI, and then you got female to male USBs, and one says left and one says right, and that's for the unit itself. When you get it, they're going to give you instructions on how to register the unit. They also have an iCloud account thing to how, you know, be able to stream, put multiple things together and it link any account. You can link YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, and it comes with one for a wall adapter. But I had to buy separately. You need to get a DC right angle, six feet. This one is going to help you power it to the power brick, and I'm going to show you the power brick next. Okay guys, the second thing that a lot of people said when they were doing the backpacks is you need a really good power brick or a really good power source. So I got this behemoth of a thing. It is called Power Oak. This lasts up to 10 hours. It depends on how many devices you have. You have four USB, you have a 12 volt and a 20 volt adapter for depending on what laptop you're using, for what device you have. And it also comes with, which I love, is it has multiple adapters with this. You can get, it has for HP, Toshiba, you name it, it's here. And in the manual, it gives you what letter goes to what, which is what I love about that. And it also gives you an extra cord. It has a USB to micro USB, which I love also. And then it has another couple other cords that come with it. And it comes with a travel case that you could take with you. And it comes with its own wall adapter. But I'm going to use the DC cable that I have to plug into to the other device for that. So this thing, it's a, it's another reason why the backpack is so expensive is this is like, depending on where you buy it, it's about a hundred bucks. And then the other one was about a thousand. So these are what makes the backpack so expensive. And so what I did was I did other cheaper options to keep the backpack so like inexpensive. So we're going to move on to next, which is what I bought for to like put everything on and then a couple other extension cords that I have. So we're gonna move on to that. So I'm setting up my backpack to do two different options, which is to use my GoPro that I just bought or to use my cell phone. Um, I have Velcros to hook up everything together and keep everything nice and neat. I also bought, which is an HDMI, a U micro USB to HDMI to help um, be able to keep everything because the USBs on there are for when you're using for your hotspot, you know, those are for that, but the HDMI is for the camera. So I'm able to use that because the GoPro and also the other, my camera from my cell phone, 
they are micro USB to USB, but I have to use a converter for the micro USB, which is fine. I also have that too. And then from there, I also have, if you, you have to get, I have a female to male USB. This will be able to extend it because you need to be able to have it go longer outside the backpack. So we're gonna start assembling now, so here we go. Wish me luck. Okay. So I'm gonna put, this has multi-layers of pockets. I got a Minecraft backpack, super cheap, $14. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave the air to flow, I'm just gonna leave it open a little bit. So it has a double zipper, which is what I love. So I'm just gonna put that here. And then I'm gonna get this and put that right here. So that goes in here. And then, for cable management, I'm gonna have these ready. These are super cool because you could just lace them through and then they just hold that. So we're gonna put that in there. So then we're going to, gonna hook this one up to this and then put that in there. Okay, and then we're gonna get that ready. So we're gonna put that in there. So here is for the power supply to go to, from the power brick to, so it's gonna go into that, through to the power supply. For that. And then I have this as a backup so when I need to use the HDMI. Okay, so I'm gonna put all the extra adapters and cords into the front pocket right here, as you see, so that I have that ready. So whatever laptop or anything that I'm going to film with, if I'm ever doing a collab, I have the landlines ready for that, for my GoPro and everything like that. And then I'm gonna put my GoPro in the front right here, so that it's there, right there. Here is the female to male. Put that in here. Right there like that. And then we have a couple travel adapters that I have. So that wherever I am, I'm good to go. And then here is the coveted SD card. I'm gonna put that in the front right here in this little zipper. I'm put that in there right here like that. And then here is the converter for the HDMI. So whenever I'm using the camera from my phone, it converts it straight to that. Because unfortunately I forgot my hotspot, <laughs> my uh, hotspot modem, but I have that. So I'm gonna put these right here. So this next to that. So then here is the DC power adapter for that one. And then here is the other power supply cord that goes together. See, this is why I love these Velcro things. They work so well to keep the cable management going. And I got enough exactly to be able to do that. Okay, and then you put it like that. And so this is going to go right here. So I can keep track of which one I have, so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so now that I got everything inside of where it needs to go, I'm gonna zip up everything. Okay, and then I'm gonna get a Velcro to cable management for the inside. So then I'm going to close it up. I'm going to close it up, but I'm going to leave the outside open a little bit so that it leaves air flowing through for the other side. And so then this part right here, I'm going to Velcro to the strap so that I can use it for my selfies.
Okay, and then this extends really, really long. So I'm gonna, that's why I love this one. Thank you, Stephanie, if you're watching this video. Thank you so much for the selfie stick. She gave it to me for Christmas. So I'm gonna sell, Velcro this is a selfie stick like that. So, so let me put this on and then I'll show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like with everything together. It is my travel ready YouTuber slash streamer backpack. It is in really, really cheap compared to the other backpacks. Um, pretty much everything I'm using is all from Amazon except for the selfie stick which I already had and a couple of like the HDMI cord that I forgot I have already bought from like PS4. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it. This is my version of a streamer backpack slash YouTuber ready backpack. It is universally able to get me to do different things such as be ready for if a collab happens or if something were to happen. I have multiple cameras, multiple stuff set up and ready. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any other ideas to add to this backpack, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much. Remember, keep on gaming everybody. This is Linda signing out. Peace, love, rock and roll, and video games. Bye everybody.